Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and what we have right here is the new HP Stream 14. So that's the ominous $200 notebook that Microsoft announced at WPC, and it's now finally coming to market. But the price is going to be a bit higher. It's starting out at just under 300 US dollars for now. It is a 14-inch notebook based on AMD and running Windows 8.1, and HP is trying to push the prices further down and doing that in cooperation with Microsoft. There is Windows 8.1 with Bing running on here, so that's optimized for Bing usage. But, but actually what they do is just they install or pre-install Bing as a standard search engine, which you can easily adjust or change by yourself. So there's no other stuff going on here. It's just a basic Windows 8.1 without any limits. Uh, but let's get back to the notebook itself. It's a 14-inch device going for the low end. So we have a 1366 by 768 resolution on here. Let me just check and try to pull up, push up the brightness on the screen a bit. It is a definitely a decent screen. It has a glare panel in there. It doesn't have a touch screen, so that's one of the points where they're saving money on here. Um, but it's a decent panel. I mean, it's still a TN panel, so viewing angles aren't the greatest. As you can see, colors start to wash out pretty quickly. But what you can also see is that there's no problems with colors fading when you're looking at the right angle. So it's definitely one of the better um, TN panels in here. Under the hood, we have an AMD Micro A4 6400T. That is a dual core that's, that's disguised as a four core, uh, quad core SOC in here running at 1.0 gigahertz standard. Frequency going up to 1.6 gigahertz, I think. But uh, don't count on that, what I'm saying right now. So just look that up in the spec sheets. It is definitely enough for this device. It seems pretty fast, but it's still more of an office orientated or surfing machine. So it's going against the Chromebooks. So basically what you're supposed to do with this is surf the web, do some office work, and that's pretty much it. There's two gigs of RAM in here and 32 gigs of SSD storage, which seems all right. The SSD also makes the device seem a bit faster since running the slow end CPU is probably slowing it down a bit, but combining that with an SSD makes up for the performance loss uh, on the CPU because you're, if you would use just a standard 500 gig hard drive, for example, the speeds would be even lower. Um, let's take a quick tour around the device. Again, 14 inch screen on here. We have a one megapixel camera on the front. It's just a basic webcam right there. We have Beats branded audio. So what they're doing is they're putting one speaker here, one speaker there, and two at the bottom actually. So you get a four speaker audio system on this device for just 299 US dollars. There's the power button up here and a decent sized uh, keyboard actually that doesn't really flex or anything. It feels pretty nice. Key travel seems all right too. Um, all keys are nicely working on here. You get a couple of functions, but fu functions buttons on the right. So there's home, page up, page down, and end over there. And a bunch of windows quick keys up here so you can access some basic functions on this device. Since you don't have a touch screen and you really can't pull this up using the charm bar on this. On the left, there's the power button and we have a very nice and spacious um, trackpad on here. So this is fully clickable and travel also seems nice. No flimsiness on this part. What I also notice is that the uh, hand palm rest on here kind of feels like metal. So I'm not really sure if this is uh, aluminum maybe, but it could be. So definitely a nice work for a $300 machine on this side. What's also aluminum is the top cover. So this part up here is also made of matte aluminum. There's a bunch of different colors. So there's gonna be this silver model. There's gonna be a purple version and I think a yellow and a green one. Those are coming out just at the same time. And let's take a quick tour around the sides right here. So we have the power jack back here, including its own LED over there, plus two full-size USB ports. The whole thing comes in at just under uh, 20 millimeters, I think. Nothing on the front right there. And on the left side, you get the power LED plus a micro SD card slot. This is a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And what you also get is a single USB 3.0 super speed connector plus a full size HDMI out so you can connect this to your TV or an external monitor. On the back, just some HP branding right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it quick look at the bottom you also get those two speakers I was talking about and the whole thing has a closed base so you can't access the RAM or the SSD in here let's open it back up so yeah there you go that's the HP stream 
the first of a couple of new cheap notebooks from Microsoft and its hardware partners coming out this holiday season. And we're taking a quick first look. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking out the HP stream. And if you like what we do on our channel, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And we will see you later. Bye. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and what we have right here is the new HP Stream 14. So that's the ominous $200 notebook that Microsoft announced at WPC, and it's now finally coming to market, but the price is going to be a bit higher. It's starting out at just under $300 US dollars for now. It is a 14-inch notebook based on AMD and running Windows 8.1, and HP is trying to push the prices further down and doing that in cooperation with Microsoft. There is Windows 8.1 with Bing running on here, so that's optimized for Bing usage, but, but actually what they do is just they install or pre-install Bing as a standard search engine, which you can easily adjust or change by yourself. So there's no other stuff going on here. It's just a basic Windows 8.1 without any limits. Uh, but let's get back to the notebook itself. It's a 14-inch device going for the low end, so we have a 1366 by 768 resolution on here. Let me just check and try to pull up, push up the brightness 